Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Two Riders video. Again, we're doing an MRE, and this is a classic. This is a 2007 Menu 4 Cheese and Veggie Omelette. Reputation, and um, if this thing turns out good, it's going to be my lunch for today. So, let's go ahead and get started. Today we're going to feature Swiss Army, and I believe it's a Swiss Army Cadet as uh, the knife that we're going to open this up. It's a peelable seal, but we're going to go ahead and just make quick work of this. A nice sharp Swiss Army knife. And let's see what we've got. So 2007, it's in a secondary wrapper. I'm going to play it out. Got the hot beverage bag, which I don't often use. Heater, which is definitely necessary. Blackberry jam. Feels pretty good. Some nice old time crackers. They feel nice and uh, nice. Get ah, toaster pastry. I'm guessing that is going to be a strawberry pop tart or something pretty close. A cinnamon scone. So we're heavy on the desserts today. A standard brown spoon, and we got a beverage base. Lemonade. Shredded potatoes with bacon. That's a nice side for breakfast. And the world famous egg omelet <laughs> with vegetables and cheese. Kind of looking forward to it. Let's see what we've got in our accessory pack today. Pretty good looking Tabasco. It's uh, the color's a little bit on the brown side, but hey, that's 14 years old. Toilet paper. Gum looks a little discolored. A moist towelette. Some salt. Nice green matches, and let's see where these guys are coming out of. Hmm, no name. Mmm, yum. A spiced cider for a, uh, a breakfast drink. And we're going to put it out on a tray, see what it looks like. Everything is laid out on the French Army surplus tray. And what we're going to do now is go ahead. Everything looks good, by the way. Um, there's nothing that's swollen or bloated or anything. The jam was in good condition. Everything seems in good condition. There's no swelling or weirdness with the cheese omelet with veg or the uh, hash browns with bacon. I'm, I'm really looking forward to, to those. So we're going to go ahead and uh, put things in the uh, heater. We're going to mix up our beverages and start working on the pastries. And we'll be right back to you. So we started to see a couple of issues with the uh, 2007 ration. First is the lemonade and I'll uh... let my partner review it. Chunky. Yeah, I don't. Uh, it's like globs and bumps and things. Yeah, it doesn't want to dissolve really easily. Um, and up close, I mean, you guys are watching this on a computer or phone. It does not s smell that good. It's a very strong scent, and it's kind of. Yeah, I'm gonna give it. A oh, taste. I see. Taste-wise. It's, uh, it reminds me a lot of, well, it's not country time lemonade. It's more like lemon um, Kool-Aid. Uh, having some issues with the flameless ration heater in basically that I've got both of the, uh, I've got the, the potatoes with bacon in there. Mmm, spice cider smells pretty good. 
at six ounces of hot water. Um, I think that these are going to have to be pulled out and put in some boiling water. It's um, it just it doesn't feel like it's going to be able to really heat them up. And while we're doing this, you want to try a, a blended pastry? Sure. We got a stone and we got a uh, strawberry pop tart. Which one do you want? A little worried about both, but. <laughs> If you need the knife, for that. All right, so let's see the cider. Color looks good. I mean, looks like spiced cider. Got a little hot. The cider. With six ounces of water, it's uh, yeah. yeah, it's good. It's actually good. Seems. Uh, cinnamon. Is that cinnamon pop tart or? Oh, no. you, you take a bite. Okay, so it's a strawberry pop tart. <laughs> and Wait up. It's a the color is Brown. a little colors off it to me. It looked like a uh, cinnamon pop tart. It has a um, you can taste the lard and you can taste the oh. sugar. But it no longer it no longer tastes like a personally cinnamon pop tart. I'm gonna back out of this video. You guys enjoy. I'm off. It's edible. Um, it's not. It's not terrible. The color is a little off putting though. Like I said, it, it looks nothing like what it probably looked like. 14 years ago. So from Sterling Foods we've got a cinnamon scone and with a desiccant. Do not eat ageless oxygen absorber. Texture looks pretty good. Smells like cinnamon. This, this is aged a little bit better than the pop tart aged. Not bad at all. My water's starting to boil in the background, so I'm going to pull these babies out of the heater and heat them up in boiling water. Okay, well, the food has been heating in boiling water for about six, seven minutes. A um, couple things have happened. Number one, the uh, the powderiness on the Lemonade went away, it all dissolved. There's no weird chunks floating around. The other thing is that when you taste it now, it has a very strong resemblance to a lemon pixie stick. The, um, the cardboard wrapped uh, sugar candy. Uh, it actually tastes dry, even though it's sitting in eight ounces of water. It's very unusual. Uh, the other thing that happened is that the the bag delaminated on the uh, the metallic portion delaminated on the omelet. Um, it's it's not leaking or anything, but um, so we're gonna open this up and give it a try. To open up the potatoes. I don't know if I mentioned, but uh, the omelet is from the hundred and seventy sixth day of twenty oh seven. Potatoes hundred and fifty fifth day. So these have the the tabs that tear across the top rather than down the side. And I think it's a little bit more of a controllable, uh, controllable way to get into your into your ration. This thing is a little hot from the you know, time it sat, so I'm going to just take take the knife and give it a slice through with this. Mm -hmm. And here it is in all its glory. The omelet smells pretty good. Mm. <laughs> it is not. <laughs> it is not a terribly uh, attractive presentation. Um, but looks on everything, right? So see how the potatoes with, you know, the potatoes with bacon are wanting to tear weird. 
and cut through it too. Wow, very strong, very strong bacon flavor to this. Well, there's our shredded potatoes. They don't call them hash brown because they're really not browned at all. The one thing that uh, has been consistent here pretty much is that the uh, the scone is good start to finish. The toaster pastry strawberry, uh, you could eat it if you're really hungry. It's a little off-putting though because every time you take a bite you have to think what is this because it does not taste like a strawberry pop-tart. So, in order to do the the omelet right. Yeah, go ahead and well yeah something has weirded up on the Tabasco sauce too. It's like it is uh, solidified. So no further ado let's give this bad boy a try. Mm. I can't, well, I can taste the cheese a little bit. I can't really taste any veggies. You could sort of smell a vegetable component when you opened it. This, I don't even know what that is. Um, a weird skin with some brownness going on. I think that I mean, I can see some sort of vegetables here. Could not tell you what they are. Potatoes have a lot of bacon in with them. The omelet could use a little flavor. Because it doesn't have a lot. Salt helps a little. What I'm going to do a little hot sauce. This is newer than 14 years old. See how she works. I typically would uh, dress up an omelet or or my eggs with uh, either something with pepper. You can see this, if you look at the consistency, it's almost like, uh, sort of like a sponge. A lot of air bubbles in it. The salt and the salt and hot sauce make it okay, actually. I think I'm going to hold onto the blackberry jam and crackers for another time. I'm going to actually try to get through this whole bad boy. Uh, if you don't mind the texture and you don't mind the color and you don't mind the, uh, the fact that it looks like a sponge and the lack of flavor. Uh, the cheese is kind of like gone to the background with the hot sauce now. It certainly not could be in the top five of a normal box of uh, MREs, but at 14 years old, it's still edible. The scone is good. This is just odd. 
drinkable, but you know you're getting a ton of artificial stuff with it. It doesn't taste real in any way, shape, or form. The cider is good. The potatoes are a step up from the omelet, but you would not mistake either one of these two for uh, diner food. Okay, I just want you to get a good look at this up close. And um, if you look at the consistency, it's really odd. Um, it's not quite as heavy as spackle, but I think I've eaten about as much of it as I, I really want today. Uh, there's nothing that looks like any vegetable in there. The color has, you know, it's turned to a unusual brown that really doesn't look like eggs. It really doesn't taste like eggs. Uh, I'm tasting a lot of salt and some hot sauce on a carrier of, I'm sure there's a lot of protein in there. And they'll tell you, eat some of each component to get a balance of nutrients. Uh, but this is just a little bit of an oddball. Stone is fine. That, nah, this, really weird. Um, as fake as any drink you're going to get. Yeah, so there we go. Um, I've got about three more or two more of the 2007 omelets in my collection. And I believe I've got a 2006 or a 2008 uh, up with everything else. So we'll be doing another one of these probably in the next couple of months, uh, sometime next year, 2022. And also I'm probably going to have a, um, when I hit a certain number of subscribers, I'm going to have a giveaway where a couple of lucky folks who comment on, uh, on the videos will win their own omelet with vegetables. Once again, if you like it, please hit like. If you'd uh, like to see more like this, subscribe. We'll have more coming up. I wish you all uh, happy holidays with every holiday you celebrate between now and uh, the, uh, the end of the year. And check back with us. If you have suggestions or questions, uh, feel free to put them in the comment section. You can also um, reach us by email. It's, it's on the site too. Thanks a lot. See you next time.